we have only a few decades to shift away from what has taken us centuries to build to an energy system based on renewables. We tend to frame this as an environmental and scientific challenge, but it's also a social and political challenge in large part because the landscapes that we need to transform to renewables are crowded places. At the Nature Conservancy, we pioneered or our scientists pioneered something called Site Renewables Right. Um, and this is a scientific approach that uses advanced spatial mapping and the latest scientific techniques to map out areas um, of low biodiversity conflict. We know that uh, smart siting reduces costs, accelerates renewable energy deployment, supports communities and supports biodiversity. You know, where we've got to so far, we support Repower EU, we support the Renewable Energy Directive as it is now stands, but really it will come down to how it is implemented, the credibility with which it's implemented, the consistency of approach, that's all going to be absolutely instrumental. And member states now have 27 months to, to designate these areas, so we've got a crucial window of opportunity to ensure that these areas are designated using clear, consistent and credible criteria that builds confidence across stakeholder groups and in doing this deliver win-wins for climate and biodiversity. Our teams uh, have uh, pioneered this in North America, it's being rolled out in North America, also in Europe, in the Western Balkans, we have fantastic work going on in Croatia. Our first pilot took place in Zadar County in Croatia and there we have seen that actually while preserving biodiversity and also keeping uh, applying to interest of the local communities, we can actually meet solar and wind target of Croatia. This work has actually then sparked interest of Croatian government as well. So we are currently scaling this pilot to the national level. TNC in Croatia, in cooperation with the Energy Institute of Hrvatsk Požar, prije dvije godine proveo pilot projekt kako bi se utvrdilo područja niske osjetljivosti s obzirom na prirodne vrijednosti i na društvene vrijednosti, kako bi se pronašlo područja na kojima se može prioritetno razvijati i vjetar i solar. Following interest from Croatia where we're modeling also how renewable energy siting works, we are now also working with the governments of Montenegro, North Macedonia and Serbia as well to scale this uh, this approach across the Western Balkan region. Ovo je region koji je na svetskom nivou globalni hotspot za biodiverzitet. U Severnoj Makedoniji radimo na mapiranju zemljišta koje je pogodno za solarne i vetroelektrane, degradirano zemljište, zemljište koje je već upotrebljeno recimo za stare rudnike, kako bismo izbjegli da se solarne i vetroelektrane grade na nekoj prirodnoj lokaciji, negdje da je bitno za biodiverzitet ili je prosto bitno za ljude da imaju, da imaju jedan ambijent u kome žele da žive. We have to speed up and scale up the renewables deployment at an unprecedented level and we have to do it while achieving 2030 biodiversity goals. So this is a challenge because we have to make it fast, but we have to be smart to go fast as well. TNC is working with different partners across stakeholder groups, uh, from industry, corporates to civil society, to try to advance our renewable energy goals in Europe. So one example is our partnership with Euroelectric, uh, where we're showing that uh, renewable energy deployment and nature protection and restoration can very much uh, go hand in hand, and when done smartly, can deliver considerable benefits for nature, people, and climate. So we built our policy partnership with Euroelectric, which represents Europe's power sector, in order to establish opportunities for innovative policy thinking that can really move this space along here in the EU. Through our work at TNC, uh, we try to find best places to deploy renewable energy uh, and then we work with policymakers and with, with uh, developers and with businesses to make sure that this is implemented in a pace that is required to achieve uh, climate and biodiversity goals.